What's going on peeps, Joshua here, and on this video, it is time to build a bulldozer. Let's get into it. So, my good buddy Evan, the neighbor kiddo, brought me this sweet little Erector by Meccano Engineering and Robotics bulldozer set. It has 26 parts with tools included. All right. Let's get this little bugger open here. Boop. Here's the package with the bits and the bobs. Let's see, anything else down in there? Nope. It appears that the only instructions are going to be right here. So, let's get into this. And of course, I don't have a cutting utensil handy right away, do I? No, of course not. Of course I had to hide that on myself. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Pretty sweet. Thanks, Evan. Hope you get to check this video out, buddy. Appreciate the little gift. All right. Yeah. Already having stuff roll away. Put all this off to the side over here. Boom. In the basuda. So, here's some wheels. Looks like, uh, ooh, if I do them out like that, it could be like a souped up wheel. But I would presume that's the natural way for them to go. And it would seem to me, according to the instructiones right here, you got these two pieces. You're going to need... The pieces that go down the middle, it's going to require three of these, right? Boom. Got those. Oh, looks like that's going to be the scoop for the bulldozer right there. Uh, this one, it has the name Meccano imprinted or stamped into this. So I'm going to reckon that is up at the top here because it even appears that right there though you can't really make it out on the video it does have the stamped little piece boom and as well it's the only piece that appears to look like that Woo! so there you go all right first foremost got the long axle for the back and then a fully threaded axle for the front it looks like they're going to use some spacers so let's get it on right on peeps boom boom slide that on through there and boom that's going to go like that you're going to need one of these through there get this on here Repeat the process. Spacer. Wheel. And. Lock nut. Alright. So. Pretty straightforward there peeps. Alright. Get that on there a little bit. Now. Time. To do the little middle piece oh you might hear the heater kick on sorry about that y'all if you hear that over the video my apologies and this requires a shorty doo-wop something like that mid-range i reckon it's gonna squeeze on through there and then according to the diagram use one of the square nuts that comes in the package there are two of them huh don't see where the other one goes interesting interesting but anywho we'll figure that out here in a minute uh, I'm gonna make sure that little bee bopper stays popped up here I did let it get stuck down in there a little bit Got wedge-rated. Oh, 
there you go. So if you let this piece get wedged in there, you can just pooka 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 poke it. All right, let's get some front action going on, y'all. Going to need this first wheel and then one of those little gray pieces again. Set that right there. Slide that on through yonder. And that one's pretty long. So, get your little lock nut. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. That one stays to the front like that because that's going to be for the bucket or blade, whatever you want to call it. And I am going to say that these two little screws here are identical. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose. To insert this, I am going to use the two. Get it on through the hole there. And then, of course, try and get it started in this nonsense. All right. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. All right. <clears throat> That's good enough for now going to need let's see slide that up slide that up time to drop this piece on now you have a recessed side and a non-recessed side you want the side that is concave here to go down on like such then there's supposed to be what I'm going to presume would be the seat. And that is this little 90 degree elbow piece here. Since it's symmetrical, it doesn't matter which way it goes where. But put the little bolt on through there. Try and line it up. Thread it into the middle of the jobs. See that? Oh, look, it's coming together now, y'all. Woohoo! Scope it out. Now, we've got two of these. You're supposed to stack them. And we're going to make a little canopy for the driver, peeps. You know, for weather protection. And take the last long piece, the uh, screw there, bolt there and slide it down into that back slot give it a good little just a little bit there you can even slide down through that slot to finish tightening that up don't have to be too many tights y'all just a couple tights now i'm gonna you know what position the bucket up here in just a minute give it a little upwards look now um yep so could have did that the other way would have been way more cooler but anyway all right good and tight little little janky to work with but once you find the sweet spot not so bad. Boom. Pretty good. Pretty good. Looks like I got the blade off there. A little hair. Let's straighten. Oh, there we go. Nice and straight on the blade. Go ahead and tighten up the back here.
Make sure the wheels can still roll. A little tight, a little tight. Back that off just a smidge. Yeah, you know, cool. Cute little model. Check it out. Whoop, whoop. Boop, boop. So, again, thanks, Evan. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And now I got to figure out where to put this thing. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, peeps. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope you're out there loving thy neighbors. Just as Evan showed his love for me with this awesome little gift. All right, peeps. Take care. I'll catch y'all soon. Shalom.